Well, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this episode of uh, Subtech Talks. Um, why are we here? Uh, the reason we're here today is to talk about a lot of different terminology going out in the EV industry mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to OCPP, API, cloud, proxy, CPO, all of these different things. Mm -hmm. So I want to start off with the simple one. What is OCPP? That's the simple one. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Now, I think it's simple if you compare it to something that people understand. I would say OCPP is a language. So let's say you're from France, I'm from Norway, and if we are to be talking to each other and understand each other, we need a common language. So English would then probably be our language. Instead of me learning French, uh, yeah. and you or you learning Norwegian, yeah. we both learn English, and then we can also talk to others. So okay. OCPP would be kind of the English language because it's a selection of, of phrases that you can uh, speak to us, and we will re reply with something that you recognize. And then when you start to learn about OCPP, then you throw in OCPP 1.6, 201, 2. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the difference there? If we go back to the reference on language again, okay. I would say 1.6 is like a, a smaller words or less words available for the language. And then if you go up to OCPP 2 point something, then the language has grown with more words, so you can okay. ask for more stuff and get more feedback from, from the chargers or activate or deactivate different features. Or okay. There's like a, a lot of more words uh, in the language of OCPP. So you expand your vocabulary. Exactly. Basically. Okay, so OCPP, what's the benefits with having OCPP for either the use of the charger or the CPO? If you don't have OCPP, you cannot connect your charger to the CPOs that uh, the charge point operators that can offer you services like uh, reimbursement if you have a leasing car, like a company car, and you need to get money back from when you charge it at your house, you need to get money back. That is a service that the CPO can deliver to you. Okay. But you need to have OCPP on your charger for them to be able to do that service. Or you can have kind of something else, but then OCPP will allow you to choose a selection of these CPOs to do that specific job. Um, so that is kind of the selection of not, o not only the leasing uh, example, but they have a vi vi variety of uh, services that they can provide through the OCPP. Okay. Uh, so these days we are rolling out new firmware for the SAPTIC Go with fully OCPP uh, compliance. Mm -hmm. um, is this for all the new SAPTIC Go's? Is it for all for also for the existing? It's also for the existing. So okay. it's kind of built up on SAPTIC's. Um, we have always said that we have a charger for the future. Yeah, future-proof. Future-proof charger. And yeah. this is a very good example and proof of the charger they bought a year ago was future-proof because yep. now it gets upgraded with this uh, uh, OCPP function. What's the difference in the cloud, how does Saptic Go communicate with the cloud today and how it will communicate with the cloud with OCPP? Difficult <laughs> question. Or not that difficult, but maybe difficult to understand and explain because we have always had OCPP, but uh, from uh, before this launch, we yep. had the customers use OCPP. The, the um, language that they spoke were spoken to our cloud, and we used our own API to talk down to the charger. Yep. And the answer we got up to the, our cloud, we translate into OCPP and give the answer back to the customer. So the customer didn't notice any difference because they they spoke English, and the response they got were English, yep. but from the cloud to the charter, we spoke Norwegian all the time. Okay. But now with this launch, the customer we have, they speak uh, the OCPP language directly to 
the charger without our cloud in between. Okay, so they talk directly to the charger, they don't need to contact us and us the charger. No. Okay, is this something, is this a new product or is this available for all SAP that go? It's available for all SAP that go. Okay. And uh, I would say it, the, the person buying an electric car and looking for a charger, um, they won't notice that big difference. No. So if they buy a charger connected to a service provider, they will not notice so much difference. But then behind that, you have the customer that we have, the service provider, yep. they will have a little bit of difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for clearing up what OCPP is and mm -hmm. the difference between 1.6, 2, and a lot of different things as well. So thank you for the talk. Thank you for joining uh, this episode of Subtech Talks. <laughs>